Hi everybody, Ben Clark here with Molecular Advantage. Uh, we just really wanted to show you in this video uh, what happens to your gun lubricant when it's under normal operating conditions of your weapon. Uh, as you can see right here, I fired this weapon about 60, 60 rounds have gone through it now and it's already up to around 476 degrees in the barrel. Okay, uh, right here we're showing a oven. Um, um, that, that was a gun lubricant in there, one of our competitors that just uh, blew up. Uh, there was no flame necessary for that. That was a, simply a heat um, created that explosion right there. What we did right here was we laid out a whole bunch of different gun lubricants, the uh, competitors that we have out there, or I guess they call themselves competitors. Anyhow, um, we wanted to demonstrate what happens to your, these lubricants when they get into the gun and when it's been fired for a while and the heat is up and, uh, and how they're destroyed, basically. Um, a lot of people talk about different things with these gun lubricants, what they, the benefits are, you know, uh, rust inhibitors or boundary lubrication and stuff like that. Well, what we're showing right here is once this lubricant's destroyed, uh, those, those additives, those benefits are completely gone. Um, it's it's, it's kind of like, how do you, how do you wipe a, a crime scene clean? You know, destroy the evidence, you burn everything. So if you have a gun lubricant that burns, I mean, these are oils that were actually made to service a weapon under operating conditions that we know goes above 476 degrees and they're lighting on fire, they're combusting, they have flash points, they're way below that. And uh, whatever the additives they have in those in those lubricants, they're going to be the first thing that's going to go. One of them is going to be the weakest link in the chain and once it goes it's going to be a snowball effect with the rest of the lubricants. It's going to break down and break down and be destroyed. And uh, that's kind of the you know as you can see with these lubricants here and they're burning away and, and these jars these are pyrex glasses that's glass right there uh, your your weapon the metal in your weapon is a bit more porous than that even though it has a certain type of uh, finished coating it's still going to have cracks and openings and you're going to get all that black nasty uh, car i don't know exactly what it is for each different one but that's going into your weapon right there and that can't be good for a fine mechanical system we know that um, we would never develop a lubricant that burned as uh, for an application that goes into a firearm. I mean, it makes no sense to us whatsoever here at Molecular Advantage. Uh, that's why we created this one right here, our, our version, our gun oil, which is Molecular Advantage right here, and it, it doesn't burn. Now, you'll see some flames shoot up a little bit from Pyrex glass, but that's simply the, uh, the fuel of this, of this torch that we're using. And you'll also see some, what we call, uh, outgassing in a sense. It's, it's a, more of vaporization. What's happening is since I'm heating up the, the fluid down there, um, the lighter molecule is becoming hyper, and they're just moving up, just like steam from, from water. And stuff. So you'll see when I pull the flame away, uh, the torch away, it'll really outgas a lot. But I want you to notice that it leaves no residue whatsoever on that Pyrex glass, like all the other ones do. Now see, there it is, but look right through that Pyrex. There is no residue. It's the same thing that's happening in your gun. Because see, what we did was we brought a family of lubricants over from very critical aerospace and semiconductor applications where you can't have, you, you can't use lubricants like this. You would never use these ones that, that break up and get destroyed. Uh, it's not possible. I mean, look at what happens to them. Um, that's obviously why they're not being used in aerospace, semiconductor, and, and other areas. And I'm really, you know, kind of uh, upset that they even be used in, in a weapon system. Because as you can see right here, they failed. Those are black, they're destroyed. And that's, once again, that's normal operating conditions got into this. We just try to accelerate it with the, with the torch uh, just to not waste your time. But as you can see, each one of these lubricants, oh, except for this one, that's, that's molecular advantage, has been destroyed. Now, just by the coloration of them, uh, you, can, you can see what's in your weapon system. Now, once again, you might look at all the different solvents they're selling with these different gun oils and stuff like that on there. That's all so you can remove that stuff out of your weapon system once you're done firing it. I mean, they, they, they sell you something that just breaks down and gets destroyed, and then you got to clean it out of your gun. And uh, it, it's, it's not good. It's not good for a mechanical system. Your gun is an advanced mechanical system, and that's what we work with, specialize in uh, lubricating, and um, that's why we develop Molecular Advantage. Uh, it really wasn't much of a competition to develop something much more advanced than the other things, the other lubricants out there. Um, we just, we, we did it for you though. I mean, we did it so that some, you all had something, a new option, something real, a real gun lubricant. Now, those are all the other ones combined and that's molecular advantage. So we've shown you, the choice is up to you now.
Thank you.